The learn and target here is given two or more functions in tabular or symbolic form, evaluate the composition of the functions in appropriate domain value. So first thing we'll need to do, of course, is define composition. Oh. If f and g are functions, then the composition of f and g, denoted with this little f circle g that's called f composed with g, is the function defined by f composed with g of x equals f evaluated at the output of g of x. So really what, what we're talking about here is you, you take g, evaluate it at x, and then plug that output into f. Let's look at an example. Uh, here I have two functions defined in tabular form. f sends 1 to 4, f sends 2 to 1, f sends 3 to 2, f sends 4 to 2, and so forth over here with g. g sends 1 to 2, g sends 2 to 4, and so on. We should understand that now. So let's look at a composition. f composed with g of 1. By definition, that is f of g of 1. So we're going to take the output uh, we're going to plug 1 into G and take that output and plug it into F. So G sends 1 to 2. So F of G of 1 is F of 2. And F sends 2 to 1. So F composed with G of 1 equals 1. So we got another one. Uh, let's look at G composed with F of 1. Notice we've switched order here. Here was F composed with G. Now we're looking at G composed with F. So what we're going to do is plug f of 1 into g. Uh, and f of 1, f sends 1 to 4. So that is g of f of 1 equals g of 4. g sends 4 to 3. So g composed with f of 1 equals 3. So we immediately know something about this operation composition. It is not commutative. That is, f composed of g of 1 does not equal g composed with f of 1. Um, let's look at this one, g composed with f of 3. So we're going to be plugging f of 3 into g. So f of 3, f takes 3 and sends it to 2. So g of f of 3 is equal to g of 2. And g takes 2 and sends it to 4. So we conclude that G composed with F of 3 equals 4. Um, F composed with G of 4. So we're going to be taking G of 4 and plugging it into F. And G of 4, G sends 4 to 3. So we have F of 3. Then F is going to map 3 to 2. So we conclude that F composed with G of 4 equals 2. All right, now we have two functions here given symbolic, symbolically. Let's look at the uh, few compositions uh, with functions given in, in, the, in the symbolic nature. Uh, so f composed with g of 4, still the same thing. We're going to plug g of 4 into f. What is g of 4? g of 4 would be 4 squared. g says whatever's inside me, square it. So g of 4 is 4 squared, so we have f of 16. And F says, whatever is inside me, add 1 to it. So F is explicitly says, whatever is in here, add 1 to it. So let's say, uh, F composed with G of 4 equals 17. Ah, so G composed with F of 4. We're going to be plugging F of 4 into G. F of 4, again F says, whatever is inside me, add 1 to it. So 1 plus 4 is going to be g of 5. And g says whatever is inside me, square it. So g composed with f of 4 equals 25. Let's look at g composed with f of 7. We're going to be plugging f of 7 into g. So f of 7, again, f is defined as anything that's inside here, add 1 to it. So f of 7 is going to be 8. So we're actually evaluating g of 8. And 8 says whatever's in, or g says whatever's inside me, square it. So it'll be 64. So g composed with f of 7 equals 64. Uh, f composed with g of negative 5. So we're going to be plugging g of negative 5 into f. 
So f of g of negative 5. But g of negative 5, g of negative 5 equals a negative 5 squared. So that's going to be f of 25. And f of 25, we simply add 1 to our input, so it equals 26. And that will conclude this uh, video lesson on the target of composition of functions. Thank you.